nothing but the first mop around here. That's all I am. Oh, there's only one way to keep a gal and have to keep her strictly on the hog. <laughs> oh, there's only one way to keep a gal and have to cheer her up just like you would a dog. Oh, you go out in the morning, get yourself one fresh, but don't you let her mingle in with the profesh, because I'm the colonel by the love of each other. That's more work. Ain't no use ringing, ain't nobody here. Son, you're kind of early this morning, ain't you? <laughs> All the better to roll them, <laughs> says I. Where's the ivory's galloping at this morning? Number 252, on the same speed it was the last time he played. Hmm. If and I got you right, I had you. Good luck to you. <laughs> I sure need it. 252, on the same speed I played it. 252, on the same speed I played last night. Good morning, brother. Good morning, brother. Well, the business is almost this morning. I got business. Don't find for point. Why don't you wait till somebody even gets this foot in the building before you start in? Somebody let him shoot you. But you know I'm all right. Don't hold the game. I'm shooting the business. 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 I'm Hard lines for points. Don't lie. Don't lie. Watch him now. I want to get the hardest points. I'm on now. Get the dice. What is this? What kind of game is this? Anyhow, man, ain't a lot of breathing. Hard line made his point. Two dollars to shoot. Shoot right on. How do you know I'm shooting two dollars? You're wasting my money away from me. You can get it out if you want it out. Now, I got nerve enough you. Just leave it in there. What do you win? When they make a slip, I'll get a shot. I'll get it. I'll get it. Two aces. And Jemima's eyes. And the man loses. And that ain't all he loses. How come? I saw Miss Nightingale down to the Yellow Jacket Cabaret last night. And boy, she sure was putting on some hot stuff with a fellow that I know. Do tell. I don't love him. Two dollars a man, lose it. I'm out the line. Cross the line. Good morning, Miss Nightingale. Good morning, Caesar. You all been to church this morning? Hell, how? Uh-uh. Morning, Miss Nightingale. Morning. How are you? Huh? How are you? All right. Okay. Hello there. Good morning, Miss Good morning, honey. Don't you honey me, Mr. L. Nice Napoleon Nightingale. Here I was waiting to do me some shopping, and you keep me waiting all morning. Give me some money. Money? <laughs> Lady, you got as much chance of getting money off of me this morning as you have of marrying the Prince of Wales this seaman. Well, how was I going to shop without no money? Shop? That's all you're talking about. Is going out shopping somewhere. Go out and do some window shopping. Don't you get funny with me. Oh, ain't nobody getting funny. Now, don't be nasty, baby. What you acting like that for? Where's all the nails I put up around here? Man, can't you man? You're clothed up nowhere. Go on out and get yourself a job. What's the matter? Are you hungry? Sure, I'm hungry. It's a little cold, but it's all right. That's nice bread, too. That ain't no good. It's rye right bread. Good enough for me to eat. A little, a little tough, but it ain't going to hurt you, any. Why don't you go on out and get a job? Me? A job? Then You is working. That's just the trouble. I ain't been doing nothing but working. 
I'm working all the time. Been out working all night long. Hmm. All I'm doing around here is the night work. I am the night worker. You go on out and work in the daytime. Go ahead. I'm gonna lay down and go to sleep. No, you you look at the dad. You can't read no how. Oh, I can't even do anything with that. You scold me. Now don't be nasty like that, sweetheart. Now go on and get yourself a job. All right, I'm going. Well then go ahead then. All right, I'm going. Go on. I'm going. Go on out and press the pavement. What's that you want? Gin. You get ginger ale. Mm, that's all. Come here, handsome. That's my name and spoke. Now look, you and me uh, knows each other quite some time. Is you a friend of mine or is you not? Well, uh, if it's money that you're talking about, if you got my last one. Yeah, I don't want no money. All I want to know is you a friend of mine, and 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 is you a friend of mine, and does you know my wife? Nah, I've been a friend of yours for ten years. Yeah, that's all. Right. And uh, as far as your wife is concerned, uh, all I know about us is a very fine lady. Oh, I know that. I appreciate all that. But come on, tell me something. Is my wife untrue to me? Not as a friend, as a friend. Nah, that's all I know about your wife. She's a very Oh, I I realize that you're trying to spare my feelings, but that don't mean anything. Just come on, tell me something. Is my wife untrue to me it's now? Yeah, I am the head waiter here. I am no house protector. Oh, I who said I said you said I was, I know what you ain't none of that, but what I mean is, is my wife untrue to me? Come on now, be somebody. Come on, tell me something. Oh, nice. Nice. Now, you look at that laughing right in my face, nice. and you know my wife's not true to me. Nice. Why don't you answer my nice. question, fella? Oh, uh, nice. shut up. Nice. Oh, come on, tell me something before I get mad. Is my wife untrue to me? You just must know. Got to know something. You just have to know? Yeah. Well, I'm going to tell you. Your wife is untrue to you. I don't believe it. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, with your kind commiseration, the great dusty artist, Mr. Ananias Napoleon Nightingale, will sing for you the misery's ornament or waiting for the evening mail. Now give the gentleman some appreciation. I was passing by the jail last morning. I yelled a hard luck brother among you hear a neighbor? I'm in here, yes, yeah, right where I don't belong. I ain't never done no wrong, and as I passed his window, I could hear him moaning his song. I'm sitting on the inside, looking at the outside, waiting for the evening mail. Four walls and a ceiling now, oh, what a feeling. It's just a mean old low-down jail that's separating me from everything except the evening mail. I'm like a shirt without a tail. I wrote my one-time mama down in Louisville. I said, sweet mama, I am up here in jail. Oh, mama, please don't fail me. Won't you hurry up and mail me some bail? Uh, that's just a year ago, and I'm still on the inside, looking at the outside, waiting for the evening mail. I got a letter handed to me, and it was just yesterday, from a mama which I met way down in Mobile Bay. She said, uh, Papa, won't you mail me some bail? That the policeman caught me fooling with the evening mail. Uh, I got another letter. Uh, that was from a gent named Stout. He said, Mister, I 
I'm going to be after you when you get out. And I'm going to be waiting for you right at the prison gate. But he don't know how long he's got to wait. Now, I just ask the turnkey how, just how long I must be in here before they sort of sets me free. Oh, he said he hear the warden say that I'd be boarding right in here. Till 1993, I'll be sitting on the inside, looking at the outside, waiting for the evening man. Now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this evening, we are carrying on with a, a dancing uh, uh, festival, which has been going on here for almost a year. Tonight is the liniment, liniment, the liniment, uh, the finals of the liniment. And all the different uh, people which are dancing in this thing is going to start in tonight and find out which one is the best. Now, <clears throat> the first couple I'm calling off here this evening is Hotfoot Benny and that dashing little lady friend, Lizzie Highfly. <laughs> Number two, Mr. Oliver Hemingway and Buzzsaw Mamie. Number three, Shorty Stump and Liza Underdunk. Being that I didn't have my partner here this evening with me, I'm going to try and uh, dance with uh, Lizzie Feffeldeffel. I'm going to do the Buzzard's Glory. <laughs> 